Vielen Dank, Frau Kollegin Gurmay. Es folgt Frau Kollegin Scharke für eineinhalb Minuten. Thank you, President, Commissioner, colleagues. A toxic cocktail of violence over natural resources, rape, the recruiting and deployment of child soldiers and poverty are destabilizing eastern Congo and affect almost two and a half million people. Paramilitary groups are continuing to commit the worst crimes and are even helped by neighbors. It is clear that the EU needs to act in a coordinated manner with the United Nations and the African Union to push for an end to these ongoing and horrible events, also to prevent an even further regional spillover in the entire Great Lakes region. The EU should act jointly and strongly. Now several EU member states have suspended aid to Rwanda as a result of the UN report that alleges involvement in the conflicts in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But we also need an EU position towards all the individuals that violated the UN arms embargo. We can do more on the demand side by improving transparency on reporting on illegally mined minerals, for example. And independent investigations are needed. The perpetrators of human rights violations, war crimes, crimes against humanity, sexual violence against women, and the recruiting of child soldiers should be brought to justice. The impunity must end. And I want to draw specific attention for the cowardice attack on the courageous Dr. Mukwege, which killed his bodyguard. This case still needs to be independently investigated. He helped many women who are the main victims of the ongoing violence. Thank you. Vielen Dank, Frau Kollegin Scharke. Es folgt Herr Kollege Paschka für eineinhalb Minuten. Som presvedčený o tom, že hlavnou príčinou pretrvávajúcich konfliktov na východe Konžskej demokratickej republiky je snaha o ovládnutie ťažby prírodných zdrojov nachádzajúcich...